Hello and welcome to the very first data prep solution for prepping data, uh, the very first one of 2020. So for our input data, we've got a profit statement for a soap company, and we've only got the profit for the lowest uh, tier, if you like, and we're missing the profit for the mid tier and the top tier. So that's two steps that we're going to uh, calculate um, those profit totals for. And our final step is going to include doing a little bit of spacing here um, so that it reflects the output and a more traditional financial statement. So um, if we go into Tableau Prep, then you'll see the input data exactly the same as what we've just been looking at. Um, and our first step that we're going to do, we're going to calculate for that top tier those profit subtotals. So that means that, for example, bar soap, everything that starts with a one, we're going to want to sum up that profit for. So the first step to doing that is using a little calculated field just to get that first character of the item um, out into a different field. And we're calling it X item in this case. And we're using the function left, um, which is literally just going to take that very first character on the left um, of item. And we can see that here, one, two or three. We're going to then use an aggregate step um, where we're going to group by this one, two or three, and we're going to just sum up that profit. Uh, and I'm just calling this X profit for our sort of top tier, basically. Top tier profit. And I'm going to join it back to our data set. So we had 31 rows coming in. We've got 31 rows coming out of that step. That's really good. Um, we're getting data for every single row. We're not losing any rows, which is great. So our final part of this first step is that we just want to update our profit. Um, so wherever it's a top tier, we want to take the profit of what we've just aggregated up and replace the null with that value. So we're using a little bit of cheeky regex here. So our top tier products all have the first three characters. Oh, sorry. They all have the first same structure of three characters. And that is a digit, um, a dot, and a space. So in this instance of bar soap, we've got one dot space bar soap. You get the idea. So this formula is literally just saying that. It's saying for these first three uh, characters of the item field, if they are equal to um, a digit, a dot, and a space, then that will then return true. And therefore, we want to take the x profit, the value that is in the x profit column. So in on this row, yep, we've taken that value. Good. On the next row, no, we haven't taken that value because we don't match that syntax um, up here. And so we'll just leave that in every other case as being profit. And I really like, actually, that I, it took me a long time. I, I never knew that you could just uh, name a calculated field the same name as a field name in your data, and it just overwrites that field, which saved me a lot of creating unnecessary new columns, deleting old columns. Um, so if you didn't know that, then that is definitely a good top tip. So that's stage one done. Wonderful. We can get rid of that X profit now because we've got all the information that we need within our table here. So uh, if we just wanted to double check that that stage one was correct, we've got bar soap as 21,744. If we check the output, then yeah, we've got that exact same number too. Wonderful. So now we're going to move on to doing it for our mid-level tier um, profit subtotals. So for example, this opaque here, um, we want to transform that null into a subtotal instead. So uh, to do that, we're going to do a very similar logic. We're going to just want the um, the x point x, if you like. That's what we're calling it here. So before when we were just calling it x, we're now going to take a number, a dot, and another number through. So that's literally just the left three digits this time instead of the left one digit or character or whatever you want to call it. Um, but the only difference here is that we're saying that if um, within those first three digits there's a space, 
So basically, if it's in the structure of a top tier product, then we're just going to make that a null in this case, because we don't really want that um, profit number being included in our subtotals, because that's really going to mess it up. So in a similar way, we're going to do our aggregation. We're going to group by um, the x.x .x item, and we're going to sum up the profit and rename it to x.x .x profit before joining it back to our data array. So let me just show you something very quickly. If we are just doing an inner join on the x.x .x item, then you can see that we're missing three of our uh, rows. So if we check what those are, there you go, it's our top tier product. It's the bar soap, the liquid soap, and the accessories. And they're kind of subtotal of profit. We do want these to come through in our data, even though we won't be replacing that profit with anything because it's already calculated, but we still want it to come through. So we just make sure that that comes through. We are losing from this aggregation step. Uh, basically, we're losing the null. But that is OK, because that is just like the grand total. And we haven't been asked for that in this uh, exercise. So moving on to how do we replace then our profit values for the mid level tier um, with the calculated um, subtotals that we just calculated? We're going to do a very similar structure again, very similar formula, where we're just saying that the first four digits have to then match the digit, dot, digit, and then a space. So for example, um, if I just find one here, so 2.2 space transparent, that would be one of our mid-level products, and that would be what we'd be wanting to replace that null profit with. I've since realised that you could definitely just use saying if the profit's null, then take the x dot x profit. Um, but I want to be honest in my solutions, and I don't want to show you my polished up versions. Uh, I'll show you how I did it initially. OK, so we've done that. We take that unnecessary field away. And now all that's left is that spacing. Now, this is thankfully nice and simple. And I will confess to you that I only got it so quickly because I may have seen Carl mention uh, about the space function very recently. So it was fresh in my memory. Um, but as you can see, we're using the space function twice here. So we're just saying, basically, this uh, formula, we've used it a couple of times already. It's saying if it's a mid-level product, then we want to have five spaces before it, because that's what the uh, requirement was. If it's a top tier product, we don't need it to have any spaces, so item can stay exactly the same. But if it's that lower level um, product, then we want it to have 10 spaces. And it's as simple as that. We now have our lovely finished desired output and it's all spaced and formatted the way that it's supposed to be. So thank you so much for listening into this first ever data prep solution and 